I realize that my hair is always a mess. I always say it's whenever I get on here, but I think it just stays frizzy and weird. And I always had the weird lumps from my glasses being on my head all the time. I figured I'd finally get on here and talk about all that personal crap that's been going on in my life. So, some of y'all know I went on vacation, basically, um, the beginning of the month of last month. My daughter and I went up to Indiana and visited family, went up to New York, visited my older child, went back to Indiana for a while, and then came back here. And like the day after I get back, my husband's like, hey, can you come and talk to me for a minute? And then he tells me that he wants a divorce, that he's been cheating on me all year, basically. I think it started late last year, and he wants a divorce. So, yeah. I'm a little heartbroken. I'm deeply depressed. I'm still living with him because I have nowhere else to go. Uh, I've been looking for a job. I've been putting in applications at all types of places. And I've had interviews. I've had four interviews the last couple weeks. And I keep just not getting the job. They always decide to go with someone else. And I think part of it's just my age. I'm getting really close to 50. And a lot of these places want younger people. Some um, I don't have experience at some of the jobs. And here comes my cat. He can't stand whenever I talk to someone else. This is actually my daughter's cat, but I saved my cat. Um, I had an interview just a couple days ago, and she acted like I had the job. She's like, you know, you'll be working this shift, and you'll be working under this person, and and uh, I'll call you tonight or tomorrow. And then she never called. I'm giving her until, you know, this weekend, which I think is technically Friday now. And then Monday, if she hasn't called, I might call and if I can find a number for them because I applied online. But I interviewed in person. But uh, maybe I'll call and find out why. Maybe someone could tell me why they haven't hired me. I mean, some places just don't even give me the interview. And like I said, I think part of it's my age. Because I'm, you know, it's fast paced and the stuff I've been, because I've been applying for just anything that's open pretty much. Um, some of his experience, because I, I can't, most jobs that I see that are open will not pay enough for me to be able to afford to rent a place. I mean, where I'm wanting to move to, most of the apartments are like $1,500 a month. And that's just for, you know, the rent. That's not utilities or food. And then they want you to make three times that for income before you can even apply. And then, of course, I need a place that will take pets. Oh, I have a lot of stuff. that I mean, they're going to need at least a two-bedroom so I can have, like, my office still. Or I'm going to have to downsize a lot of my crafts and books and stuff. And then, of course, I'd like a place for my daughter to stay whenever she's not at school. Anyway. Yeah. I had to wait until, you know, I wouldn't, like, cry or something talking about it. But that is why I've been quieter than usual. I'm just depressed and angry and basically, like, all the stages of grief, even though there wasn't, like, a death. It's the death of a relationship, I guess. And, um, my friends are trying to help out. I go and stay with one of my best friends a couple days here and there just to get out of this house and look around for jobs in their area. It's like three hours away. My daughter won't come home. She didn't want to be here. So, like, whenever, like, the long Labor Day weekend, she just stayed at school. She didn't want to be here. So, I went and visited her. So, yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, I'm not asking for anything. I mean, I do have, like, wish lists and stuff. But most, most of them, it's just, like, I have my book wish list still. I have a wish list for stuff for, like, if I get a new place. Like, automatic kitty litter box and stuff like that but like I said I'm not asking for anything 
I have furniture and I have I have stuff that I need necessities I just mostly just wanted to explain why why I'm not posting much why I'm not reading much why I'm not doing much of anything I'll probably upload this on YouTube too because I just now starting to put content up on YouTube I just hadn't felt like doing anything I hadn't felt like crafting so yeah plus I've been doing a lot of driving just looking for jobs going to interviews going to my friend's house going to visit my daughter it's lots of driving but thank you for listening um, any positive vibes would be appreciated if I'm not a religious person but I do appreciate prayers too really need to get a job so I can get out of here. Thank you.